everybody. Thanks for joining John Collins with Park Bench. And today I am very happy to bring you business owners in Pacific Beach, Jackie and Jeanette Geisman of Our Green Affair. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Awesome. I'm doing great. I appreciate you joining me today and getting to shed some light on your business. Um, I, I can't wait to dig into it. Um, but first of all, I always like to talk a little bit about uh, our business owners' histories and how they got into their line of work and, and what brought them to Pacific Beach. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about your restaurant? With words. Uh, sure. Okay, so we got into the restaurant industry a little over a year ago. When we were little kids, we always said like we were going to open a restaurant together. We even had a name for it. It wasn't our green affair, but <laughs> it was all like, in the making since like the year 2000. We grow up, neither of us go to culinary school. She goes into business and psychology. I take a marketing route and I do a focus on marketing and hospitality. She graduates, she's two and a half years older than me. Um, she graduates from college. She starts doing real estate and she always dreams of like having a restaurant as a passion project, maybe when she gets older. Time out. I should also mention <laughs> that food has always been like a focal point in our lives. Like we're okay. those type of people that kind of like live to eat. You know what I mean? Like we're like at breakfast, we're like, where are we going for lunch? Got like it. food is everything. Don't get me wrong. Um, so just going a little bit backwards, when we were younger, she got diagnosed with Crohn's disease with when she was like nine years old. And I don't know if you know about that disease, but it's an inflammatory bowel disease that kind of limits what you can eat and put into your body. So everything really has to be made like clean. very clean, very fresh, like no preservatives, artificial flavors, anything like that. So always growing up, we would eat very healthy, but we started making everything in our house. So like there was no more like outsourcing for like dressings or anything anything it was, everything was made in house period it was so all, we, it was it, also at the time like where gluten-free wasn't really a thing like there uh, was one shelf at whole foods and everything that was gluten-free literally tasted like cardboard okay okay so then that's when we started like kind of like experimenting with different things flavors textures and we were like okay this is amazing just because something is healthy and good for you and we know what we're putting into our body doesn't mean it has to be disgusting which mm -hmm. kind of like people get that connotation like like if you're like oh i don't want to really enjoy this salad people are like i want to enjoy a burger but you're like i'm i'm like you know scarfing down that salad because i have to hot girl summer but not because like you're like oh yeah this is so, <laughs> so we wanted to kind of like rebrand that and we wanted to give people the the ability to eat food that's delicious and mm -hmm. good for you at the same time so that's kind of like where that idea was planted like way back when but it was kind of like morphed into what we now call like our green affair and and it's it's such a fun name for the business too i know it wasn't the one you guys had planned when you were younger <laughs> but how, how did it come about no. okay so originally the name was promiscuous greens um i don't know if you know this there's a place in la jolla called promiscuous Court. i do yeah. And we really wanted to differentiate ourselves. So that's why we deviated off of that. Um, we really wanted to make healthy food interesting. Like my sister said, like we really wanted to rebrand what healthy food was. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, sex sells. Sex gets people talking. And yeah. if that's what we have to do to get like us in people's mouths, why not? Yeah. We also kind of wanted to like, give people the idea of blending different flavors together that are not really conventional, you know? So kind of like we can have like the little bit of like the safer, like a Caesar salad. And so that's like usually what people go in for, for comfort. And then you can like keep going further, further. And if you think about it, like our green affair and like in a sexual connotation, you can also kind of like kind of say that it's like, there's a spectrum for everyone and you can either like play it safe or like test mm -hmm. the boundaries. And so we want people to like explore with their palate and like get different flavors, get different textures and just kind of like have a, like a great culinary experience that they might not have thought on on their own. So we're kind of like their guiding source to this way. I love it. And that uh, it, it sounds like the, the food 
that you and the food kind of found each other early in life and you guys are developing this uh, as, as you grew up together and and you are the uh, managing partners and co-owners um yes. but, but restaurant is restaurant being a restaurateur i guess is is, is uh, it comes in the family as well do i have that right so our dad had yogurt shops in mexico okay. our mom we grew up with our mom always in the kitchen Mm -hmm. um, but we never, like our family never had restaurants particularly before. Okay. So this is definitely a deviation from what we grew up with. Our dad was That's always a restaurant. Ah, see? My dad oh, just stayed at a restaurant. He just forgot about that. But it wasn't like a, like this scale. It wasn't like a day-to-day -day thing. It didn't Got end it. And I, I mean, you, you guys opened up a little over a year ago. Um, man, what a yeah. time to open a restaurant. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about how that went. Well, the good thing is we'll never forget when we open because <laughs> everyone's going to know like COVID as a benchmark. That's how we know exactly when we opened. Um, it kind of is more of a humbling experience. They say that opening a restaurant is brutal and tough and no one takes into consideration COVID. So just imagine like a global pandemic hitting just when you're like training your training your team and you're like finally like okay this is my passion I'm ready to show the world and just kind of like give them a little bit of insight on like what we're so in love with and then there's a global pandemic everyone everything shuts down no one's even leaving their house and we're like what do we do now right. so it kind of does humble you and you're like okay let's regroup let's see what works what doesn't work change our kind of mentality and keep moving forward but what's kind of nice about COVID and what happened to us is that we never really had time to feel sorry for ourselves. If we wanted to survive, we had to shift our mindset and move forward and move forward and move forward and move forward. And that's what we did. And so, yeah, it sucks opening up during COVID, but I think it kind of made us stronger for sure. We value our team so much more, our family, like because of our family, we were able to survive this because we had no employees. It was just us. And we came out, I think we came out stronger. That's incredible. Um, and I, I think so many people would just expect like, oh, that this is never going to work, but you guys persevered. And I think that's a testament to you and to your menu. Uh, speaking of which, um, how do you guys develop the menu and uh, springboarding off of that? Is there anything new coming up either with that or with the business that you want to let us know about? So we are opening up our second location Woo! in nice. 2022. We just signed our lease a couple of weeks ago. It's like right in Solana Beach. So okay. that's going to be very exciting. That's an awesome bit. Uh, and, news. Yeah. And great. And location. we will most likely be having um, seasonal menu items. Okay. Eventually. Got it. <laughs> Maybe like winter. Don't expect fall. It's fair. <laughs> to be determined. Yes. Now that's awesome. Well, congratulations. That is terrific news. Um, now, because this is a, a Pacific Beach focused site, and and I, I always like to take a minute to ask you guys, you know, what are businesses you'd like to shine a light on? I, I told you before. I was doing another interview. It's not even up on the site yet. It will be by the time uh, ours is here, but. Uh, you know, I asked another business owner about it and they, they mentioned you. So I was thrilled to see that we were going to be sitting down together. But, um, you know, whether it's a place you like to go or a business you want to mention, uh, I just want to give you a minute to talk about that. So we have our neighbors, which are the Butcher's Grill. Um, they just opened up a couple months ago. Okay. And we honestly love being a part of the TV community. Um, it's amazing how all of the restaurants really support each other. It's not like a competition to see who can outsell who. It's really, we lift each other up mm -hmm. and it's amazing. There are like right next to our neighbors. So we love having them around. Pablo is also, Pablo is the owner and he's amazing. He's always here working his butt off. So it's really motivating to see other business owners working as hard as we are to really make a name for themselves. And another business that we love is Biggie's Burgers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're amazing. It's obviously completely different to what we sell. 
So, okay. like, we talk all about balance. Mm-hmm. But if you want a burger that you have, like, a, a grilled chicken one, phenomenal. Their Oreo milkshakes are also really bomb. So Nice. So I haven't had that. I will. Salad, their Oreo milkshake is insane. And their fries. Mm. <laughs> Nice. Clearly, we don't only eat salads. Well, yeah, yeah, and that's great. It's balanced, right? Yeah, you want exactly. to, uh, you know, have a variety, and and it sounds like you guys do that. Well, you do do that uh, within your own restaurant, but you can appreciate everything else too. And, and I absolutely love what you're saying about the businesses in Pacific Beach working together because. You know, if you've been walking down Garnett, like I do all the time over the last year, you've seen a lot of change. You've seen a lot of turnover. You've seen, uh, you know, just things sitting empty for a while. And that uh, kind of ethos that rising tide floats all boats and, and you guys work together to, to drive the traffic and, and uh, lift each other up. I think that's terrific. All right. Um, how do people find you? Let's go over the essentials, right? Location, website, ordering. I know uh, I always kind of like to hit on the best way for you guys to, to, to get the orders in because, you know, the, the ordering services are great, but, but they, you know, they, they, they can take a, to take a piece, right? Yeah. So the easiest way to get to us um, is through our website. You can always place your order online. It's super simple. You can also call in orders. Obviously this is, if you're picking up your order, if you're getting delivered, we're on everything from Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, and even Taken. It's like a local delivery company. Okay. So you can find us anywhere. We're also on that corner of Cass and Garnet. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful historical building. You guys might know it as the Dunway building. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like a location that people know. Um, so if you want to stop by, we'd love to have you. We love to meet our customers. It gets really exciting. Also, definitely, like if it is your first time in, come in and let us know because we do bombard you with samples. We like making it feel like it's Costco. We like for you to really fall in love with what you're getting. So well, we make it an experience. I will be in soon. And uh, hopefully everybody who's watching this will be in soon as well. Uh, and and yeah, you're right. That that location is is iconic pb i mean that that building that classic brick building you look at the old you know turn of the 20th century pictures i don't know the exact year it went in but uh you know it's it's there from way back and so it's great that you guys got the look that location and right near the beach so uh you know i'm sure that drives a lot a lot of good traffic for you guys all right um well hey you guys have been generous with your time. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm so glad that we can get the word out about our green affair. And uh, we will uh, be seeing you in there soon. Um, uh, again, just website. I- I'm not sure we got the actual URL. You can go to, okay. So sometimes what happens is if you go through Google, Google redirects you. So just go to www.ourgreenaffair.com. Got it. And then there's okay. a little tab that says order online and then it redirects you. If you, want, you can also look at it through Instagram and it'll redirect you to our website if you press the order now button. Perfect. Or just show up at Cass and Garnett, right? Exactly. All right. Uh, well, thanks again, guys. I really Thank appreciate you. Thank you so time. much. We appreciate you. Likewise. I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.